What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is very exciting because I actually leave for Computex in about 10 hours. There's no, there's no watch on here, it's just kind of weird. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's super exciting. There's a lot of stuff that I need to bring. In particular, all of my tech gear. So all the things that I'm gonna be using to create, produce, and edit all of the footage that you guys are gonna be seeing in your inboxes later, later on this week and so forth. So um, there's a lot of stuff here. I have it all strewn about on the table. Woo! And we're just gonna go down the line and talk about everything that I'm bringing. Maybe at the end of the video, you guys can let me know if there's anything I missed or if there's something that you might suggest that I bring on my way to LAX. So, okay, let's let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's do it. Now, if you're gonna go halfway across the world and you're gonna be editing footage, you're gonna need a gaming laptop or some kind of powerful laptop or a computer, but computers are big and I'm not bringing one. Uh, you can see the Go Anywhere Do Anything PC is over there, just chilling in the corner. I was gonna bring him to Computex, but I decided, nah, it's too big, too much shit. Uh, and also, if I brought that, I would only have one connected monitor, whereas with a laptop, I can actually connect the G-Chic 2501A right here and have a dual monitor set up, which is really nice for editing. So again, this is the MSI GS60 Ghost Pro, super fast, it's got a Core i7 Skylake CPU in there, mobile chip of course, and a GTX 970M. Just a beast of a system. Battery life is total shit, but um, hopefully I'll be able to jack in somewhere. I've also got the, uh, the this HS1A. Super old pair of Corsair headphones. It's actually a gaming headset, my first gaming headset ever. I'm just bringing it along for the ride because it's super comfortable and I don't care what happens to it if it gets lost or stolen. It's a piece of crap now anyway. No, it's actually still fairly decent. I'm sorry, headset. I didn't mean it. Of course, you need a good mouse. You need a good mouse if you have a good laptop. Otherwise, what's the point, you dick? This is the GS, I'm sorry, the G602. G602 from Logitech, wireless mouse, AA battery, super good battery life even though they're not rechargeable. A uh, shit ton of macro programmable buttons on there. DPI adjustment, super comfortable, it's awesome. It's a good mouse. Crisis 3 mouse pad, hell yeah. I love just teabagging Prophet's face with my mouse. All right, what's happening? External SSD, 512 gig. Don't be fooled by the HyperX branding, it's actually an ADATA SP900 in here. 512 gigs, yo. It's got all my assets and shit, it's awesome. Also got uh, this little uh, little guy, Kingston Data Traveler, USB 3.0 flash drive. I don't know what I keep on here because it's only 32 gigs, but it's nice to have a USB drive, I guess. Got some battery packs here. Battery packs are always essential for a trip like this, especially if you're going to be using your mobile devices a lot, like I am, you know, tweeting and posting to social media and stuff while I'm at Computex. It's nice to have backup power. So we've got this MSI one. It's just, re it's, it's just a rebrand. It's OEM, actually. But 10,400 milliamps definitely gives you some solid... Some solid charge time, charge capacity. However, it is only a one amp port, I believe. It, it charges pretty slowly. Uh, that's why I'm also bringing along this Rosewell one. That's 13,000 milliamps. I've never fully drained this on a single trip. It's just a beast of a freaking uh, power brick. It's got a flashlight in there. Isn't that funny? I've never needed the flashlight, but maybe I will this trip. Who knows? Uh, it's actually got a two amp port as well as a one amp port. So uh, me and Wifey Sauce could both use this at the same time if we wanted to. Just uh, tag team it. And then we've got the, uh, the G-Chic monitor coming back to this. This is the 2501A. This thing is just absolutely beautiful to have when you're on uh, going to an event like Computex where you want to edit. So going to be able to do that dual monitor setup. Again, this is IPS. has really good color production. Um, not great for gaming because, you know, it's it's just uh, it's, it's IPS. So the, the response time is really slow and you get some trailing and stuff, but for color correction and all things productivity, it's a fantastic piece of hardware. It's 15.6 inches, I believe. Um, it comes with all the appropriate cables. It actually comes with HDMI. A lot of uh, these external portable monitors um, don't have HDMI connections. They use like USB. Uh, for their for their power and for their uh, their video transfer or VGA, uh, but this is 1920 by 1080 and it does have a native HDMI connection, so excellent stuff. Uh, we've also got this. This is uh, my Nexus 7 tablet, more for leisure than it is for productivity. Uh, it's also got a nice case on there, uh, but this thing's awesome. I love this thing when I'm traveling, especially when I'm on the plane. Uh, it's great for watching movies or playing mobile games and things like that. Again, very simple leisure stuff. Uh, usually I watch movies on it, especially I've got this uh, little little connector here. There's a head phone splitter that I'll I'll uh, share with wifey sauce if we ever want to watch a movie at the same time with the with the laptop or with the uh, tablet we can do that we've also got a Soundlink mini this is from Bose and Bose is uh, you know they're pr they're pretty overpriced at times but um, I got this one for free I think I got this at uh, the Verizon store when I picked up my Samsung Galaxy S6 a while back they were just handing these things out like hotcakes so I was like yeah sure I'll take one it's just a mini Bluetooth speaker it actually sounds really good 
um, despite, you know, how, how overpriced it may be. It fills a room quite decently, so if, uh, you know, we want to pregame at the Airbnb or something before we go to some industry party, we can bump some tunes in the meantime. And this is the, uh, the meat and potatoes, guys. This is the meat and potatoes here. We've got the GH4 Lumix from Panasonic. This is an excellent body uh, because it's actually quite small for a DSLR body, so it keeps it nice and portable. However, my lens is certainly not. Uh, this is the Sigma 13, I'm sorry, 18 to 35 millimeter lens, but it's just a beautiful lens. It's very versatile. And speaking of which, the Metabone Speed Booster adapter that I have in here is an active adapter that not only converts an EF lens or makes an EF lens supported by a micro four thirds body like the Lumix GH4, but it also adds a full stop of aperture so it does really well in low light situations, which is great for Computex because a lot of these vendors have, you know, LEDs on their products that they want to show off, so they purposely dim the lights down low so that, uh, you know, the colors can pop more. And it can, get, it can get really difficult to try to shoot in that environment, so having the speed booster on there is really nice. It's also an active adapter, so you can adjust the aperture straight from the, the camera body, um, which a, a passive adapter will not allow you to do. It also adds some magnification properties to the lens so that you get more of a, a wider field of view and a more cinematic look to all your shots. It's a really great piece of hardware. I've also got the Tascam DR40, or actually before this, I've got a cage. I've got the D cage from Defocus Systems. This is what the, the, the Swiss cheese looking crap that's all around the uh, the sides of my, uh, my, my body here. And um, this thing's just an excellent piece of hardware. It allows you to attach things like a handle. If you guys have a DSLR and you guys are going on events, Go, buy a freaking handle. Buy a cage and buy a handle because I swear to God it's the best investment I've ever made um, for, for this particular setup. It's just amazing how much of a difference it makes to have something to grab onto, and, that's what she said, uh, and just be able to roam around freely um, with ease. So that's really nice. Um, those holes that you're seeing, those are all threads, so either either a quarter inch or three eighths inch threads, the, the two main standards for mounting camera shit to things. So I've got my Tascam DR40 PCM recorder. It's got some XLR inputs, uh, which is really nice. And this is gonna be wired from the uh, fr from my, my Sennheiser MKH416 micro microphone here, amazing shotgun microphone, very directional, amazing pickup pattern, and uh, just utmost clarity. Uh, so this is going to be wired, this is uh, XLR going into my DR40, and then from the DR40 that's going straight into the microphone port on my GH4, so that way I can just record everything at the same time, don't have to do any kind of audio video syncing in Premiere Pro when I'm editing the footage, it's going to save me a lot of time and it's going to sound and look really good while it does it. So really happy about that setup, almost forgot about my 256 gig PNY. Uh, SD cards there. Hell yeah. Highest rated class and all that sort of thing. Uh, we've also got a monopod. Now this is the Manfrotto 290. And uh, this is a cheapy little monopod. It's probably like 60, 70 bucks. And I actually have another one on the way. Uh, I actually got the same one that Paul did. I bought it last night or yesterday during Awesome Hardware right before the show started um, because I really like his monopod. It's, it's the one that's got like three legs and it's a self-standing monopod. So you can kind of just leave it there even with the camera on and mounted and everything. It'll just stand in place, which I really like. So I don't know if it's going to get here in time. I, I, my flight leaves at 12.50 a.m. Uh, later tonight, so I have to be out of here by around 7.30 or so uh, to get through customs and whatnot on time, so we'll see, we'll see. It's a race against the clock whether or not I get the upgraded monopod, but if not, this one will do the job. I've also got just a few other accessories here, so a pair of earbuds, these are nice to have on a plane if you just want to jack into the in-flight in entertainment. Uh, you usually do need a 3.5 millimeter jack to do that. However, if I'm going to be connecting to my tablet or my laptop, especially when I'm gaming or whatever, watching movies, I like to have a pair of wireless headphones so these are the sound Pete's q7y i believe uh, and these are just really cheap earbuds but uh, they work really well they go behind your uh, the cable goes behind your neck um, so you don't have to deal with you know any kind of a uh, uh, cable in front of you like you like you would with a standard pair of earbuds they sound really good for the price again they're they're, they're not too high end or whatever but they do the job and they've got actual vo volume adjustment on the side there which is nice to see and finally i've got an ethernet cable cat6 cable just uh, you know, connecting to whatever uh, available ports there might be at the air B and B we're staying at. So that's it. That those are all the things, guys. Let me know if I forgot anything. What do you think? What do you think of my setup? Am I like forgetting something? Because you know, always in the past when I'm traveling, I always know that I'm going to forget like one important thing, and it never fails. I always forget like one thing, and I'm like, damn, that's what it was this time. Um, so maybe now that I'm asking you guys, you can just make sure that uh, you know I've, I've got my whole checklist. Um, figure it out. Uh, of course, I will be bringing like backup batteries for the camera and you know the PCM recorder and all that sort of thing. Um, you know, charging cables and whatnot for my phone. Uh, I didn't want to really show that here because it's not really that important. But if there's anything else crucial that I'm missing here, oh, oh, I almost forgot this. Haha. -ha -ha. 
See? This could, this was gonna be that thing. This was almost the thing that I forgot to bring on this trip. This is just a USB 3 um, card reader from Tech Republic. Um, not super important that I bring it because there is a card reader built into the, uh, the, the laptop here. However, you never know. What if it dies? What if it dies? What am I gonna do then? What am I gonna do? I'm screwed. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for now, guys. You can tell I'm a little bit frantic right now because I've got so much to do before I leave uh, in just a few hours here. So thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, and also let me know what you want to see at Computex really quick. So if you want to see, do you want to see video cards? Or do you only care about motherboards? Do you want to just walk up to booth babes and give them shitty pickup lines? I don't know. What do you want to see at Computex? Because I'm pretty flexible, guys. So let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. And I will see you all in the next video.